Welcome to the State Television Campaign of Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The young residents of Omsk has conquered the top of Mount Ararat. The European Parliament may hold a debate on the issue of COP29. Natalie Lucio. Four doctors of Red Cross were injured in Lebanon. Mira Shahramanyan addresses to fight her missing son. Ilham Aliyev should be held accountable for the genocide. Luis Moreno Campo. From young Turk nationalism to Nazism, survivors of the genocides of Armenians. The FA of Ding's murder will continue on 10 January. A group of young residents of Omsk, including representatives of various professions, engineers, businessmen, has conquered the top of Mount Ararat. The views, of course, are stunning, especially the shadow of Mount Ararat. The expedition was not only an adventure, but also an opportunity to test the strength of the group, how they overcome difficulties and get unforgettable impressions, share their impressions with the participants of the expedition. The second news is the member of the European Parliament, Natalie Lusso, informed that the European Parliament can hold a debate on her initiative, which is related to the issue of COP29 to be held in Baku. She reminded that the economy of Baku depends on hydrocarbons and human rights are massively violated in that country. According to Lusso, Baku is also carrying out hostile actions against France. Furthermore, Baku has not yet made peace with Armenia and is responsible for the ethnic cleansing of 100,000 people. U.S. Congressman Frank Fallon also expressed concern that the government of Azerbaijan was not held accountable for its actions. They should not be allowed to use COP29 in order to restore their reputation, said Fallon. The Lebanese Red Cross reports that during the Israeli attack on the Sabrin settlement in the south of Lebanon, four ambulance workers were injured. When the team arrived at the location, the Israeli military hit it again and injured four doctors. On 25 September 2023, hundreds of people died in the explosion of the gas deport in Artsakh, and the fate of 22 people remains unknown. Armin Movsisan, the only son of 63-year-old Mira Shahramanyan, is among those missing after the explosion. The boy's mother is sure that her son is alive, noting that the Azerbaijanis took the wounded people to Shushi and Akna. The mother applied to various institutions, but a year later she still has no information. She claimed that there are facts that the Azerbaijanis took the wounded Armenians for treatment. Luis Moreno Campo emphasized as follows. The president of Baku, Ilham Aliyev, should be held accountable for the genocide because he is the one who leads the state, apparatus and controls the decisions of the political, military and diplomatic spheres. He openly disobeyed the decisions of the UN International Court of Justice. An investigation should also be started against the Minister of Defense of Baku, Zakir Hasanov, and the head of the State Border Service of Baku. Elchin Guliyev, Luis Moreno Acampo, former prosecutor, general of the International Criminal Court, expressed his opinion. The International Conference is jointly organized by the Foundation Museum Institute of Genocide, the Embassy of France in the Republic of Eastern Armenia, the French Institute in Armenia, and the French Theatre Company, Sate Altre. Submit applications in the official languages of the conference, English and French, by sending an email till 2024, December 15. Paper applications should include a paper title, an abstract of no more than 500 words, and a short CV. Venue Foundation, Museum Institute of Genocide Against Armenians, Yerevan, Armenia. The FA of Ding's murder, which was returned from the court of Kazation, will continue on 10 January 2025. The trial was reopened with the decision to start a new trial against some of the accused. Among the accused are 15 public officials, including Yavuz Karakayan, who is one of the gendarmerie officers. The prosecutor's office demanded to convict them for the crimes of murder with premeditated intent and violation of the Constitution. The lawyers of the Ding family presented their position, emphasizing the shortcomings of the investigation. The court scheduled the next session for January 10, 2025. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you a good day. Goodbye.